rain. <laughs> copper again and copper Angela just go to the village and praise for headmaster. Why am I calling praise for headmaster? Mishak took them to his house, went to serve them, and then his wife saved the food. And she was admiring, I think she was admiring copper again. She was just admiring the fact that they were co members, and it felt like she had this look that she wanted to be like them. And then headmaster Mishak would just shout inside, she go inside, like. <laughs> And there was also this scene where he got to back in his house. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time in here, if you are new here, you're very much welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It means a lot to me. I really appreciate the fact that you're here today. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. My name is Mustafa Farida. Farida Mustafa, aka Ria with the juice with the sauce. <laughs> Anyway guys, you're very much welcome to my channel and if you haven't subscribed with new viewers and existing viewers, please, I beg you, please, please and please hit that subscribe button straight away. Please watch my ads, watch, it, watch this video to the end, like, drop a comment, let me know that you're here, you know, let's conversate, let's interact, okay? Thank you so much. Alright guys, so today I'm here again with another Heroku TV movie review and this one is called The Locals. Now this movie star Kunle Remy, Bella Ike, Francis Duru, Happy Jillian, Chick Strike and many others that were in this movie. <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering why I'm laughing. This movie, I really enjoyed this movie, you guys. Like, I really enjoyed this movie. Okay, before I start hyping, let's go to the let's go straight to the plot of this movie. So this movie is about these two core members, Copa, Copa Ken and Copa Angela. Copa Ken and Copa Angela have been posted to a very very remote village in one stage. I don't know what stage it is, but I think it's Port Harcourt from the name of the city. But I don't know, Shaq. This kind of village is that when you get to, you're like, really, who are actually living in this kind of place? You get like. <laughs> Even the school they were posted to, it looks like some kind of carpenter shop or something like that. But anyways, Papa Angela is still, you know, trying to get used to the place, trying to know the kids and, you know, try to at least accept her faith that, okay, I've been posted here, there's nothing else I can do. But Papa Ken would not have it. It's like, no, I'm a, I'm a law student, I'm a law graduate, how can I be serving this kind of place? I'm supposed to be serving a law firm, I'm an esquire. <laughs> I'm supposed to be serving a law firm, you know, serving in maybe Port Harcourt, Lagos, Abuja, having fun, having a great time, you know, working and bowling. You're not telling me to come and see this kind of place. No, I can't stay here. This was when he still got to the school though. Now when he got to the lodge that the so-called lodge that he had for them, he almost fainted because the lodge was even times ten worse than the school. And then there's also this friend, the headmaster of the school, headmaster Mishak. <laughs> God, this movie was funny. <laughs> headmaster Mishak is a stammerer, but he's you know he's still trying to beg them to please stay in the school because those are the first set of core members they have, but Copa Keno. Isha is saying he's going to relocate, he's leaving this because he, he, he's leaving the village because if he stays there, he's literally going to die, blah blah blah. You know, all those kind of things that, like, when you're posted to a state in it for NYC and you just don't like it. This, this copper can't act in it, it's it brought back memories for me because that was the way I was when I went to say, but we'll get back to that, anyway. So, it's about these two core members, and you know, when they got to the village, they had to start teaching the kids. Copper Angela already got into teaching mode, you know, she went to the classes, started engaging the kids, started interacting with them. And you know, we found out that these kids they are not just you know, village kids, they're actually smart. Some of them are smart, there's some of them that want to do better. We have these very smart ones in the class, um, the very the two smartest ones in the class are uh kk is it kk or kk kk and ugo ugo is living with her aunties with her mother's sister the auntie Sha. that one maltreats her she doesn't give her food and kk lives with his mom you know his mom is his mom is a widow his father is late and then the father's younger brother wants to get married to the mom at all costs so he chased them out of the farm he doesn't allow them harvest and they're literally starving anyways um this movie the plot was really nice you know it, it was very relatable for me it was it was it brought back memories you know being the fact that i've been to nyc if, you, if you've gone for nyc before you would you would be able to relate with this especially if you're posted to a remote village because when i remember nyc i was posted to a very remote village so in fact right from the moment i got my posting letter i literally started crying because i was like <laughs> I want to be in the city because I serve no Ocean State. I was like, I want to be in Ocean, but I don't want to go to Akoma. I don't want to go to the village. And it was really, it was crazy for me because I cried all the way from PPA to my, all the way from camp to my PPA. It was, it was crazy. And then after a while, I started getting used to the place. And But this is not about me, Shai. It's about this movie. Anyways, um, both of them, Kopaken and Angela, thought they only had to teach in the community. But they literally didn't know that they had to do, they had to do a lot more than just teaching, you know. At the long run, they started impacting more than the kids. They started trying to help, you know, like promote the village because they were able to help um Keke's mom get her farmland back from the wicked um her late husband's younger brother. And also, Ugochuku was being maltreated by her auntie and just also being molested by her auntie's husband. So they were also able to help Keke help Ugochuku and also get the um 
the auntie's husband arrested so they had to do a lot more than that you know they had to fight for they had to become like human rights activists in the village they had to you know like start organizing spelling bee for the kids i don't want to tell you guys so much but they had to do a lot more than just teaching you know community service giving back to the society helping the kids it was just really nice you guys i could really really relate to this movie it was nice it was it was great for me i enjoyed the acting and then the kids um Gochuku Keke and all of them shot also Amaka the kids were really good and Kopa I say Kopa headmaster Misha very very hilarious one of the most hilarious scenes from this movie was the scene when <laughs> Kopa Ken and Kopa Ajela just go to the village and Prespa headmaster why am I calling Prespa headmaster Misha took them to his house he went to serve them and then his wife saved the food and she was admiring I think she was admiring Kopa Ken she was just admiring the fact that they were core members and it felt like she had this look that she wanted to be like them and then headmaster Misha could just shout inside she go inside his like <laughs> And there was also this scene where he caught Kopa Ken in his house before Kopa Ken agreed to start teaching the kids. There was this part where he caught him in his house and he felt like Kopa Ken was trying to toast his wife. The way he screamed, the way he ran, I was like, I must have Mishak, calm down. <laughs> Loki Shamia was eventually rooting for um, Kopa Ken and Edmaster Mishak's wife, but I, I knew that was a bad decision because if it happens, Edmaster Mishak was literally going to have Kopa Ken's head for pepper soup, but the movie was nice it was relatable even if you've not been to nyc it's something that is happening like it was very relatable it's very nice i enjoyed this movie i really really enjoyed it and then they had good good picture quality they had good camera quality the camera angles you know when the drone they had these scenes where the drone would go up and they'd capture a very large landmass it was nice it was really nice and then copper kids actually that was when i was able to relate with the most also copper and they acting because when i went for my nyc after so much back and forth and struggles i was able to you know get back into like start getting used to the village i started realizing that the kids are not just they're not just village kids some of them are really really intelligent some of them are really willing to learn some of them really want to change their lives we have the very smart ones and i was also able to start interacting with other people it wasn't i don't know the i found it wasn't it wasn't really a village like i thought because we had people from the city living there we had people who were kind of like sophisticated even if like majority of them were not you know and i was also able to do a lot of things it was just nice anyways and i was happy at the end of the day because it saved me a lot of money saving in that village saved me a lot of money than saving in the city because i mean my 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 house rent for the whole year was about both house rent and um both house rent and nepal b was about 20k for the whole year imagine ah no it was nice i was able to save it like with 5k i'll go to the market get a whole lot of food stuff stock my house stock my stock my lodge it was nice but okay back to the movie this movie was really nice i enjoyed it the movie has a 94 percent rating on roku tv i personally give this movie a 9.8 because i mean it was nice it was ah, I really enjoyed it and then the kids the kids were really really good like especially keke and Ubuchuku, they were really good actors and okay I love the parts when they became like human rights activists, put Ugo's case on social media, people were responding. In also those parts, we had people who were willing to help, we had people who were doubting them, like the way it happens in reality. So this movie was really, really nice. I enjoyed it. You guys should go see the locals on Roku TV. I thought I was like two hours, it's really long, but I didn't know when I started watching it, I realized the movie was not even too long. It was nice. Like Copper Ken was the most hilarious and and Master Mishak, they were very hilarious. Though I had issues with the parts where the Belaiki was trying to, like, it felt like she was trying to form American accent. But <laughs> regardless, she's a fantastic actress. And also, my darling Kuni Remy Abeg, what else do you expect? Because of course, you expect some top notch stores. Like, the movie was nice. You guys should go see it. You're going to enjoy the locals on Rocket TV. So go check it out. On Rocket TV, guys, it's very interesting. <laughs> There were the funny scenes, there were scenes that were serious. It was just really nice. It was nice. I like this movie. I really enjoyed it. Kudos to the script writer, the producer, the director. They did really good. I, I don't know. I just really enjoyed this movie. So so there's some people might see that like it's not there's nothing really special, but I feel like it's the fact that I was able to relate to the story, the fact that the story was very realistic for me. If it, it was something like what I witnessed when I went for my NYC. So I think that's one of the reasons I enjoyed it. It felt like I was watching my NYC life again. So it was just really nice. So you guys should go see the lookouts anyways. And I'll see you on my next video. Thank you so much. I love and appreciate every single one of you. As I said, I'll see you on my next video and I love and appreciate you. Thank you. Bye guys.